To find the oxidation numbers for the copper here in copper 1 sulfate, we'll use these rules here. Since copper 1 sulfate here it doesn't have a negative or a positive sign after it, it is a neutral compound. All these oxidation numbers on each element, they're going to add up to zero. For copper, it's a transition metal. It can often have different oxidation states depending on what it's bonded to. And here it's bonded to something called the sulfate ion. You should recognize the sulfate ion. It's very important in chemistry. It has an ionic charge of 2 minus. So the whole thing has an ionic charge of 2 minus. And when we have ions, we look at the oxidation numbers. They add up to the charge on the ion. So this whole thing will have an oxidation number of this minus 2. That means we have to have a plus 2 over here for it to all add up to 0. So if we had 2 times some number, that would give us plus 2. 2 times plus 1, that'll give us plus 2. Plus 2 minus 2, they add up to 0. So the oxidation number on the copper in Cu2SO4 is plus 1. Each copper atom is plus 1. If you need to know the oxidation number for the sulfur in the sulfate ion here, there's a link in the description to help you do that. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.